Dear friends, greetings from Vinay Joseph. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous episode, you had learned constructing magic squares which had odd number of grids. In today's episode, we will learn how to construct a 4 by 4 magic square which is also called as Durer's square. Durer was a German national. He was a painter, printmaker and a theorist of German Renaissance. This particular square was found on one of his paintings in a church and at a corner in a prominent painting this magic square was engraved. In this magic square, we'll have four rows and four columns. So, totally we will have 16 grids. I have drawn the principal diagonal and the secondary diagonal. In all these grids, I will now start filling the natural numbers starting from 1 and ending with 16. But the small grids where the principal diagonal and the secondary diagonal are shown, in those grids, I will just take the count, but I will not write the natural number. So, shall we start? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and the last grid is 16. Wherever the principal diagonal and the secondary diagonals are drawn, in those grids, I am not writing the numbers, I am just counting. So, I started with 1 and ended with 16. Now, the last count was 16. I will start coming in the descending order from 16. And I will fill in those grids which are right now empty and complete the magic square. Wherever already the entries are there, those grids will just count but nothing will be written. So, the last entry was 16. I'll start with 16 from the top again. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. So, we have completed the 4 by 4 
magic square. We'll just find out what will be the magic sum. The magic sum should remain the same in whichever row or whichever column, whichever diagonal it is added. I'll add the first row. 16 plus 2, 18, 18 plus 3, 21, 21 plus 13 will be 34. So the magic sum should be 34. Let us check the second column. 2 plus 11, 13, plus 7 is 20, plus 14 is 34. This is the 4 by 4 magic square. What we'll do from this magic square, which has the magic sum as 34 is a small change. What we'll do is the second column and the third column we will interchange. The first column, I'll keep it as it is. Instead of the second column, I'll write the third. Instead of the third, I'll write the second. And the fourth column will be retained as it is. I'll start. The first column is retained as it is. 16, 5, 9 and 4. The second column and the third column are interchanged. So instead of second, I am writing the third, 3, 10, 6 and 15. Instead of the third, I will write the second. That will be 2, 11, 7 and 14. And the last column is retained as it is 13, 8, 12 and 1. This is actually the square which was found on the painting. What is the speciality of this? The magic sum will remain the same. Cross check. I will take the principal diagonal now. 16 plus 10, 26, 26 plus 7, 33, plus 1, 34. This is the magic sum, which was the same even before we interchanged the two columns. In whichever row you add, or whichever column you add, or if you add on the principal diagonal or on the secondary diagonal, you will get the magic sum as 34. Along with that, this 4 by 4 Bureau's square has some very, very fascinating uh, properties. Take the four squares at the right, left hand side top. 16 plus 3, 19 plus 10, 29 plus 5, 34. Take the four squares on the right hand side top, 13 plus 2, 15, 15 plus 11 will be 26, 26 plus 8 will be 34. The left hand side bottom four squares, if you add you will get 34. Right hand side bottom four squares or grids, if you add you will get 34. The central four squares, if you add, you will get 34. You can, if you explore, find some other fascinating facts also. Please try to explore, study the Dürer's square. And the most fascinating thing is, in the last row, at the central two grids, the number that is exhibited, 1, 5, 1, 4, that is the year in which this magic 
square was engraved by Dürer. Dear friends, this magic square will help you in learning your mathematics better because it creates a lot of interest and you'll start loving the fun with numbers and also it makes you learn the historical significance and the intellect that the people had during those times. Please take care. Stay safe. God bless.